Good morning, it's Gretchen again. Let's talk today about abundance. Um, have you ever thought about it this way, that we are naturally abundant? Like we're born that way, we're born with abundance. So it isn't a matter of, like say a flower, a flower doesn't have to try to bloom, it doesn't wish to bloom, it doesn't hope it's gonna bloom. It just surrenders to the elements and it does. So think about abundance in your life. And so if you're thinking that you're not abundant, you really are. And it's just a matter of letting it come. You're not creating it. You're not waiting for it to be created for you. It already is. It's already there. It's already there. It's just like that thing that we do with the hand where you close your eyes and you know you can feel your hand. That's how your blessings and your abundance and your manifestations are. They're right there. They're right there. We just have to connect and allow it to come in. So how are some of the things, you know, what are some of the things we can do to allow it in? Well, the first thing is gratitude. Not gratitude, like sometimes I think when people say that, they think like, Oh, okay, I can just hear my mom or I can hear my grandma saying, what do you say? Say thank you. Uh, Gratitude is an energy. Gratitude is a feeling that is automatic. So even when things are not going the way you want them to be, there's always something to be grateful about. So my suggestion always is to myself is go outside. If I'm stressed at work or if I got things going on that just aren't lining up, I just go outside. And pretty soon, if you just become a little, just a little bit in tune, you're gonna hear a bird. You're gonna see uh, you know, a pretty leaf. You're going to notice dogs walking or, or cats outside or children playing. It doesn't matter. Even further, I live in Utah, so the mountains are extremely close. You take a drive. Go find a stream, go for a hike, go for a walk. Um, you know, things, even if you live in a city, there's magic it just in within the city. Go down and look at the architecture or look at how well things are planted around concrete to make them look beautiful. Find some things every day to get into a habit where you're constantly thinking, thank you. You're constantly noticing the abundance all around you. So what that does is when you notice the abundance around you, the universe goes, oh, okay, you, you see that, now let me show you more. Remember, the, the answer is always yes. Yes, right? Another thing you can do is uh, keep a journal. Write down, um, write down, you know, great things that have happened to you that day at the end of your day. I keep notes on my phone and I make a note of all the magical things that I saw or experienced. And so, um, Just know that once you keep doing that, you'll start finding yourself in a pattern. You'll start looking for things. You'll start all of a sudden recognizing that's a synchronicity. Okay, that's what that is. So when you start recognizing your abundance, more of it's going to come to you. When you start recognizing your abundance, your resistance to what you want will go down because you're focused on the positive. You can't have a stick that has a problem and a solution and focus on both at the same time. It's either one or the other, okay? So find things today that make you feel good. Find things today that you can remind yourself, I am abundant and abundance is my nature and I bring abundance to me every day. And so when you start doing that, when you start recognizing, I don't have to try, I don't have to pit, beg, and plead. It's already mine. I just have to notice it, just like the flower. I'm just going to point myself towards the sun, and I'm just going to bloom. That's how it works. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.